according to a United Nations report. Around one in three young people across 30 countries, including Nigeria, have been bullied online, while one in five have skipped school because of it. With a rapid growth of internet population in Nigeria, experts are now calling on the government to do more in tackling the issue of cyberbullying. Correspondent Phil Haza reports from Abuja. 21 years old Vivian is a victim of cyberbullying. She didn't want to reveal her real name. She had to drop out of university two years ago, and since then, she's been struggling to live a normal life. My ex-boyfriend, who had nude pictures of me, blackmailed me. And when I refused to yield, he posted them on social media. I am constantly being mocked by my friends and family, which traumatizes me to the point of contemplating suicide. At least 120 million Nigerians, mostly young people, have access to the internet and social media, according to the Nigerian Communications Commission. As more people have access to the internet and social media, cases of cyberbullying, including stalking, trolling and misuse of victims' personal information, are increasing. Falajai Karim, a psychologist in Abuja, says depression and even suicide could be on the rise if nothing is done. So he trains young people on how to prevent or control incidences of cyberbullying. You have to be intentional about what you post. Ensure that what you send online can withstand public eye. When you have a, self, a good self-esteem, you'll be confident about what you put out there. And you would also determine, you would have good decision-making skills to determine the things that you need for others to see. And some young people here are already changing their behavior. I will avoid being too personal with my social accounts because there are some times that, you know, putting so much information out there, putting your face out there, your profile picture, everybody knows you. So if anything goes wrong, everybody comes to attack you. If peradventure I be I, I, someone is trying to make me a victim of cyberbullying, it's very important that I stand my ground and voice out first. Experts say, in addition, the government needs to ensure the law takes cyberbullying seriously and the perpetrators are brought to book. People need to be sure that if they find themselves as victims, that there, is, there are laws that can guide them. That assurance alone will help them to seek help early enough. And then when perpetrators are caught, it is impossible that there are stringent punishments that will serve the public as public notice to those who contemplate carrying out such. The aim is that stricter laws could prevent other young Nigerians suffering what happened to Vivian. Experts say making young people more aware that cyberbullying is a serious criminal offense could help cut the number of cases and improve mental health. Phil Ihaza, CGTN, Abuja.